Right, let's play this window. Start a new game. this thing within a hundred days. Piece of cake. There's my little guy. We've got a workbench. We can buy various boosts. First one to get, and the cheapest, is the hacking skill to get into computers. This will become obvious on our first heist. And there's our security clearance. We need to bite our way into higher clearances to get more money to get to the police district. That looks like a lot of cash to get, but we'll get there. First, the slums. There's little robot guys, they're the guards, the yellow beam shows what they can see, what they can sense, and you want to stay out of that. Easiest way is just to stand behind a door, which they can't get through. That's what we need the hacking skill for, and that's why we want to get some money. I can't look up and down, I can't stick to walls. Those guys move slowly upstairs, quick downstairs. So I need to time this to get behind him. Or drop down in front of him and get lucky. Ideally I should not be taking risks, particularly on the first heist. Ah, oh, to computers, that would have been lots of money. Never mind. Let's just grab what we can. Where's this guy? He's there. Oops. another guy up there which is fine we could do this there's one over there no obvious path to him but we can go across the roof that's a window we can break through that go across the roof to the back door everything. Yep. So back the way we came to complete the first heist. There is falling damage so you want to slide down walls where you can. the airship to buy the hacking skill. That's the important one. That opens up other things. We can also get double jumping or better movement. A second jump is more important right now. And in fact what I'm aiming for now is wall jumping level 1 to stop mid slide on any wall. Sticking to walls is very handy. Once I've got that I'll just save up the money to get to the warehouse district.
to over there. I wonder what's down here. And I can't stop, so I need to be careful here. Good, good. Oh, there's things down there, but never mind. These go slowly. The hacking isn't complicated, but it's not meant to be. And I think that's all I can do on this ice. So that's the back door, and I can't get down there. I have enough money just about to get I'm jumping. That should see me through to the next security clearance level. So let's just do some heists to get the money. Nothing else there. <coughs> now you've got to watch out for windows because they're transparent and they can see through them. So you don't want to hang around too long outside a window. Let's see if I can get across these spikes. How do I get to one of this? I don't think I do. And there's a computer there and as well. Well, that's just a feature of procedurally generated levels. Never mind, on to the next one. Only 56 quid, which is why computers are so good. Back. Oh, new robot. This one's going to take two hits. It floats around and has a beam at points where you don't want it to. And there's spikes, which is great. So the longer we take to do these things, the harder it gets. Stick to horse now, it's brilliant. Very handy.
Am um, I going to be able to reach them? Yes. Mm. Which I think just leaves that fella, and I'll get him from the outside, I think. I don't want to jump those spikes. I really don't get on well with spikes. Doesn't mean timing this thing. There we go. That's a good result. Still not enough for security clearance, so we'll do another one. Another new robot. That one looks a long way and that looks like it's going to get through the door. Which is not great, but then there's no cash there. So I think I'll look around. This will work, but I need to watch out for that glass. It's best to hit him, silly sod. This is why sticking towards is so good, isn't it? Oh, that's horrible. Hmm. If I can get that floaty thing. Like that. I might be able to drop down onto that other one. From the other wall. But let's call that a last option. Let's see what else I can get first. Because it will probably raise the alarm and then... I'm a bit boned. There's another computer. Yeah, it's going through the back door. Yeah, I don't know the other one. This is handy. This will be straightforward. And you can sit in crooks, which is great when you can stick to walls. They don't see you, and you can smack around the head. Brilliant. Gotta watch out for him there. You never know which way they're gonna point. They have beam afterwards. I don't like jumping over spikes from stairs, so I think I'll just ignore that. Now the question. Considering I've got enough money to advance, do I try that risky drop? Let's have another look at it. I need to do it from the other wall. I think I can do this. Yeah. good and I think that's probably all I want to do I can do this I can get him but then it's for ah uh, it's for not much cash I've got what I need so I think I'd be sensible and just get out and move on Okay, not to fall too much. That's plenty of money to move on. Back to the airship. I'm going to say bye bye to the slums. <laughs> 